Bye. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer, and this is some Homefront gameplay. So um, this is a game that I got a while back when I suddenly got an urge to play some Homefront of all things. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's not a game. Well, it's a game that I pick up, you know, a couple of or three a month, uh, you know, a couple of time after a couple of weeks, I guess, and um, and play a few rounds, have some fun, get frustrated, and stop playing the game because I'm frustrated. So it's kind of a, a, cy a cycle that I have with this. Uh, game and um, in this uh, particular match I did really well especially especially being me so um, that was um, that was that, that was a lot of fun and I also have to admit that this game kind of clicks with me especially uh, with me doing well for some reason I do well more consistently in this game than in any other game that I'm playing. And I do think that's because of the kind of two kind of play styles that um that or the playstyle really fits this my playstyle fits this game very well. Um you know, I, I like Battlefield. I love Battlefield and I love the large scale battles and this big maps and everything. It, it's awesome. But the fact of the matter is that my kind of playstyle, which is really a run and gun, run up there, get in their face, and shoot them with my gun, that game doesn't really cater to that kind of playstyle. It more plays the, um, I won't say, my, well, a little more slow paced, move from cover to cover, play smart, outsmart your enemy uh, on, a more, on, a more, uh, on a slower basis than perhaps Call of Duty and Homefront does. But. Homefront has that kind of Call of Duty run and gun esque style to it, where it really caters to people who run around and are mobile. There are some, you know, things that I that I really believe ruins the overall feel of Homefront. But in, uh, in large, I mean, this this game really caters to that kind of play style, and um, it really suits me well because. I am able to run up to people and just shoot them down very effectively with right here my Di Diablo 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 I, I don't know this weapon <laughs> um, so I, I can be really effective with it and especially especially up close and that really um, that really helps me um, do well in this game uh, when I can get this you know close quarters combat and I think I've finally nailed down what kind of um uh i don't know what they're called again perks is that it no no no. the support actions the kill streak kind of deal i i think i really uh, really nailed it now with the um proximity launcher and i think it's amazon resupply i'm not running that here but you know uh i it's later uh customized this class so that it was perfect for my playstyle. I really nailed down what I should bring so that, that I'm always as effective as I want to be. And that has somewhat removed my frustration with the vehicles and drones in this, in this game. I mean, I don't think that they're, that they're that overpowered anymore when I really just found a way to effectively um, take them out and effectively combat them. So. As I said, this game is actually quite a lot of fun. I was just laughing at myself of this guy lying through the wall. Uh, so, I mean, yeah. And, it, and as I said, it, this game really caters to my kind of playstyle. Run and gun, uh, being aggressive, pushing up in there. Uh, not necessarily spawn, but, you know, pushing the limit of how far forward I can go and uh, how, far I, uh, how far I can push in and still be effective and keep the enemy back. So, um, that was a lot of fun. Wow, that was a really long talk about Homefront, then. <laughs> this has just made me want to go back and play this game. I mean, it's such a lot of fun when it actually works, but there's some aspects of the game that I just can't handle. Like, there's no bullet penetration. What the hell is that all about? I mean, it's 2000 freaking 11, and there's no bullet penetration. I mean, that should be... It should be a default. I mean, it 
there shouldn't be a game without bullet penetration at this time. I mean, it was kind of uh, revolution. I won't say revolutionary, but it was kind of new and awesome with Call of Duty 4 when that game came out. And that's four freaking years ago. Or even longer. Isn't that 2007? Well, that is four years, isn't it? Yes. Okay, four years ago. That was four years ago. Uh, so, you know, that's that's kind of bad. You, you see these thin metal sheets and you can't shoot through them. That's that's just silly. And there's a lot of wooden walls that are impenetrable for some bizarre reason. I wonder what kind of wood they're using in the future. Well, as I said, there are some of those beefs that I have with the game. And although they can be somewhat annoying and irritating, uh, this game is such an amount of fun. And it's too bad that it's kind of been left to die by the community and um, or by the gaming community at large. I mean, there's still a dedicated community that kind of keeps this keeps this um, game alive, but still. And another thing is that there's the servers with people on them often have some odd and bizarre rules, which I don't really like. So it's kind of hard to find a proper server to to play on. And which, as I said, is really sad because it's such an awesome game. Apart from that, <laughs> uh, so as you can see, I'm really on a streak now. Now all other enemies are alerted to my presence, so they're really trying to get me at this point. And I'm just having a lot of fun. I think I'm laughing to myself <laughs> a little bit too, too here. So um, yeah, wow, this commentary was not supposed to be about home frame, but it really became that when I see this game. Oh, yes, um, I still have some Spotify invites for you Americans if you want them. Uh, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll contact you with the... Yeah, I'll I'll get you an invite. Uh, and, um, oh yes, I have also pre-purchased uh, Red Orchestra 2, which is coming out late August. So, I believe that game could be quite awesome, but I'm afraid that it's not going to get any traction. That is the end of the movie. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Stay guys! Oh, ho, 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 ho!